It has been almost three weeks since the general public saw Meghan Markle and baby Archie Harrison. Meghan has been staying out of the limelight and having friends like Jessica Mulroney and Serena Williams quietly come to visit her and Archie at their Frogmore Cottage home on the Windsor Estate. The Duchess of Sussex is currently having rest and recuperation and time with her newborn, just like Kate did with Prince Louis before her. But, on June 8th the general public will be dazzled by one of the highlights of the royal annual calendar, and we may see Meghan then. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam said, If you look at the timeline between Kate giving birth to Lewis and Meghan and Harry's wedding, you'll see that Meghan's attendance at Trooping of the Color is perfectly possible. Next month is the Royal Trooping of the Color parade that marks the Queen's birthday. Because this event is a big deal for the Queen, it is likely that the Duchess of Sussex will make an appearance regardless of her being on maternity leave. Kate showed up at last year's Trooping of the Color despite giving birth to Prince Louis a month and a half earlier. Trooping the Color is a ceremony performed by regiments of the British and Commonwealth armies. It has been a tradition of British infantry regiments since the 17th century, although its roots go back much earlier. Since 1748, Trooping the Color has also marked the official birthday of the British Sovereign. It is held in London annually on a Saturday in June at Horse Guards Parade by St. James's Park, and coincides with the publication of the birthday honours list. Among the audience are the royal family, invited guests, ticket holders and the general public. The ceremony is broadcast live by the BBC within the UK and is also shown in Germany and Belgium. The next possibly time to see baby Archie after the trooping of the colour is at his christening. Royals christen their children around two to three months after they are born.